last time on Flipside. Road trip. Road trip. Yo, 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 road trip. You guys driving like old ladies. Go set up the dam. <laughs> the dam, dam. Have some drowns, man. If you don't need help getting gear up, I don't need help. So fucking over, hey. Whatever it takes to get the shot. Ooh. Those dangerous ski boots. Yo, look what it does to his forehead. <laughs> This is Flipside, the show that takes you behind the scenes with the Absent Films crew. You were already talking bangers before. Let's do this! Out with the Absent crew. <laughs> Don't treat the filmers too good, you know? Can't ask for more, so I unfulfill. We take up our everything. I still had it right here. Nice oh, so fun. I'm working, dude. I'm making a TV show right now. What are you talking about? Welcome to Flipside. Yeah, that's the voice. You gotta do it when you gotta speech it. Coming up next on Flipside. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> like, no, it's Flipside, the movie that takes you behind the scenes. <laughs> oh. The voice that loves you to sleep. You are getting very sleepy. Definitely ready for someone else to be that voice, though. You are watching Flipside. I can do it. Yeah? Fuck yeah. And we have our new host. Perfect. Yeah. Let's do this. Oh. That landing super gnarly, dude. Flat and wet. Hit it again with a little bit more speed. If I get that trick, I'm over this jump. For someone who's injury prone, a sketchy jump. Whoop. Vladdy, how's it looking? Uh, nice. Sounds like it came together. What? That last one. So he charged, got his trick, and was over it. You know, he didn't want his season to end right there. You feel good about that? Yeah, dude. Okay. I'm feeling good about that. So I just gave him the camera and said, hey, you be the new voice on Flipside. All right, I'll be that annoying, dude. Well, you don't have to be annoying. Come on. So tell me about the snow conditions here in Switzerland right now. Welcome to your new side job, dude. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Next on Flipside. I heard the bells ringing on that one. Landing switch in this chandler sucks. That's the opera ski, like we don't even hear music up here. Need to get into the vibe. Oh. Little fucker. Eight hour drive. Munich. Is Justin coming with you guys too? Yeah, dude. I had to drive to Munich in one day from Washington. First I had to drop Gigi and Justin off at Gigi's place and then over to Munich. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Definitely could have been at Munich by now, couldn't I? Couldn't go now. That was my absent Europe trip and I was on to Jackson Hole. Definitely some pressure to get back to Zillertal, where the dam is. Satellite. Yeah. How was the train ride? No. I, I know how it is with cable cams. It's never ready when you expect it to be ready. We're in business. Certainly don't need coffee. We felt like we were ready with the whole setup. First thing, Justin looked at it and he was just like, no. I think we got to attach the line. The wall. It was slightly the wrong angle and we could make it better. It was a tough decision because, you know, everyone's ready to do this, but to do it and not get it 100% would be beat. 
This is the first time Vole had been working with a cable cam. He was expecting it to be like, set it up this day and this day, and then we shoot it this day, and then we're done. And it's just not like that. It was definitely hard to see it go that slow. You're missing out on bluebird days. You're not getting shots where there is some good snow in some other places. We were just winching the tension on the line that the cart that Justin was going to sit in would run. All of a sudden, we looked. The carabiner had peeled open. Fuck. That one, too? Yeah. It was easy. Someone else would have done it already. We kind of had this deadline we were working against. Vole had been invited to go to Las Vegas, where he was nominated for the Rider of the Year poll that Trans World Magazine does every year. That was kind of the time stress, you know? Sponsors wanted me to be there. To me, it was like, are you kidding me? You're gonna go maybe win this award? <laughs> fuck, for that to be the reason to like, you know, it's just fuck. I had to take off for Vegas for the trade show. Here we are, Vegas. While the other guys are all out in the field, getting the shots, burning the money. Someone's gotta take care, bring home the money. I was trying to get all these meetings out of the way by the time Vole rolled in because I knew that would be my partner in crime, you know. I'm gonna meet up with Jason Ford from Future Magazine, who might most likely become our new media partner. The magazine was finally, we felt, up to par with our expectations and how snowboarding needs to be communicated and conveyed. Jason Ford, Future Magazine, Absent Films, joint venture. Very happy, very happy about this partnership. It's going to be a long, successful, successful on millions of levels. Nice film. All right. Still You're not going to go for a ride? We'll see. We'll see. There's definitely life and death consequences of messing it up. Definitely you want to get it right, and you want to be close enough to the rider to have it really be an effective cable cam shot. All right, then. Good to go. Slow down. Slow down. You're watching flip side. Good to go. Slow down! Hit a knot and boom! I just went bouncing up over, almost went over the rope. Luckily, everything held, but that was definitely the acid test. Like, if it was gonna break, it was gonna break right then. Yeah, it's too fast. All good. So if that got that out of the way, it was pretty, pretty mellow after that. Ew! Fuck yeah! Eight days set up, time strapped in now. Ready when you guys are. Woo! Out of a drop in, ready time. Drop in. The upper ones are better. That's better? The upper ones from the alley-oops. We wanted to maybe do some alley-oops or do some jumps in there too. But I thought it would just look the coolest just to do the biggest, longest slashes that he could out there. Close to the thumb, but still good. Those cracks are so deep, you know. So. Amazing shots, I think. See how the film turns out, but it looked really cool through the camera. It was definitely worth all the effort and money and time. Can't remember having shots that I felt so good about in January ever. Now what? Now what? Now pack up the <laughs> quick and go to Vegas in the morning.
we got Wally Neuvelt here, nominated as the Writer of the Year. Let's welcome him. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> nah. 24 hour trip. Man. Crazy city, huh? Huh? Trans World, you know, they make a pretty huge deal out of their Trans World Awards. Red carpet there, you got the invites, uh, fancy dresses. Good. Come on. Hmm? See you later. On the stage. Mark Frank came up on stage and announced the three nominees for the Rider Awards. All these, you know, whoever wins this, don't get a big head, I'm gonna have to slap you up. It's the humble ninja, Vole Nivelt. <laughs> Vole took the award home. I'm really stoked, uh, just glad I made it into the States as I almost got denied yesterday to absent Brusty. And uh, yeah, that's it, thanks. In Europe. Good things went down. Damn. In Gigi Land. Top of the list. Is that a carry on? Always the same person. Yes. Oh. Does this, I'm seeing right that it's 45 kilograms. Yeah. It's impossible. Going into this venture or endeavor, it was a huge undertaking and probably also our most expensive shoot so far. Okay. $80. Show that to the lady at check in to get the bags cleared, and you're all set to go. It's expensive to go to the other side of the planet, 400 pounds a year. Justin and his crew, everybody had to go on other plans, and everybody left the country pretty much. Me and Sylvain stayed in La Renale. Uh, Jules just showed up after his ankle injury. Skating in Thailand, I broke a sketchy bone in my ankle. I wanted to snowboard more than everything else, but the pain in the ankle was holding me back a lot. He could try tricks a couple of times, but then his ankle would hurt, so concentrate more Silva. Nothing really special, because she was, I mean, nothing special, no. Like, there was a crazy thing, like, Silva jumped a huge cliff. After two, three days there, we just went home to fuel the batteries and then back to Montafon, where uh, Marco Feichner had a few things lined up. Would you? I do it, my man. Thank you, I appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Yes, you know, see ya. The next day after the Trans World Awards, was it worth coming to Vegas? And for Jackson Hole, where Travis Rice had his natural selection go down. Jackson Hole finally meeting the real winner. We landed in Jackson Hole, and that was basically the first time I felt like, okay, finally arrived. We're in real winterland. Masses of snow was dumping, was cold. Are you ready? That's where it really kicked off for me the season. That was like the first shot that looked really solid, technically executed by our technician magician. Gigi Roof. Ill, dude. <laughs> Thanks. My first banger of the season. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What? You missed a lot of bangers with them. I know. <laughs> you struggled so hard to find snow. So we had a lot of off time sides of the competition. Yeah, yeah, I'm safe here. Yeah, I think the so. program was just so loose for that week that we could just ride for a whole week and we ended up with Bruce T on a little filming mission. You were already talking bangers before. That just barely got me a beer this evening. Like straight down towards the rocks and I remember looking through my camera. Holy shit! Just like... <laughs> Luckily, you know, there was that much snow piled up on the rocks that nothing happened. It's okay. Yeah, I'm in cuffed with my... So cold. Look who's back here. Just left for a quickie to go down. Yeah, Sign some autographs while we keep on working hard in the snow. Thousand bucks, bro. <laughs> That's all it takes to get me off the mountain. I was definitely on my way home when I got a call from Kevin Pierce. He was trying to juggle two choices of, I got invited to go to the Japan Open. He's probably going to win it, and there's a $100,000 cash prize. 100 grand is a lot of money, but I'd done so many contests, and I was just burnt out. You got to be in the right zone to be doing that kind of stuff, and I definitely wasn't. He basically gave that up to go film and free ride and remember what snowboarding is really all about. And that, to me, said a lot. Ooh, we're, we're, we're both coming from uh, San Diego. 
where Kev lives. He wanted his friend Scotty Lego to come too. You can see uh, Scotty have a little adventure in the sea. Yeah, that, that sucks a little bloody. Yeah, that sucks a little bloody. It's just from traveling all day. It's mellow. I've been running so much lately, I've just been running my feet into the ground. <laughs> a little flesh. And how are we going to keep that from getting infected in your snowboard boot? We need a lot of. It doesn't burn. It doesn't. No. Maybe I lied. <laughs> Feeling it? Yeah. My stomach is failing me. I got sick for the natural selection on my toilet. Travis Rice had his natural selection go down. Their idea was to break out of your usual contest formula, free ride, freestyle event where everybody gets to pick his own line. I'm sure Travis got the golden line in here figured out. I don't know, man. I'm, I was, uh, I, I, I had first choice and I was stupid enough to pick third and the two guys in front of me are like going the same spot I'm going. <laughs> For sure one of those events where the vibe was pretty much as, as good as it can get, you know, with all the riders there and everybody just having fun, shredding power. Put your scare boots on! Yeah, God, you fucking bastard! What's your start position? Dead last. Okay. So I can't really plan anything. Or well, you can poach all the built jumps. There you go, my strategy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do a lot with some smoring. Sweet, dude. Yeah, right roll, I think on the back one. It good. Scott, I've known him for a while, and it's so easy to travel with him. He's funny and mellow, and he's kind of just down for whatever, and he loves snowboarding, so that makes it easy. You coming, special needs? What's that? You coming? Yeah. Sit back down, back, back. <laughs> I'm not going up. You're watching Flipside. Scared. What does it look like? Looks bigger than I thought. Scott, he's another guy that I've grown up riding with, grown up riding parking contests, and We've done that for years and years, and this was our first real filming trip. Pretty big jump. All right, pointing it as fast as you can. Put my speed suit on so I have enough speed to make this thing. Blasting right up here, clearing the gap, probably yelling a few words in the air, like, yoo-hoo! We found this one jump that looked like a six step down gap, but we didn't know if it was gonna be safe because they'd just gotten a bunch of snow and it was wind loading on that aspect. I don't think you want to be ragdolling in this shit here, so you got to put it down. No one was really feeling like hitting it, because who wants to hit a huge jump to a landing that's going to rip out? You guys out? interested in checking that other um, tranny over there? I'm worried about that snow. <laughs> but yeah, I'd like to go, because it's a good landing. Did it pull it all out? Uh, yeah, what the fuck? Where did it break, though? Oh, it broke right there. Oh, look at that landing. <laughs> Shitty. I can't even look <laughs> Yeah. You cannot do the California filmer right there, eh? You go prepare everything, I'm coming. We do one year this way and one year the other way, okay? Okay. I quit after this year then. In between the event, <laughs> hotel room, get a phone call from Gigi off the mountain saying, hey, got this jump build, you want to come shoot? So just rallied up, arrived at the picture perfect site where, yeah, Roma and Gigi basically were ready to drop in. And the competition all together was just hammering snow and hammering good times, fun times. I heard it break trees down there, it was solid ice. What's Wolfgang saying? He's not sure if, he's, if he wants to go to Baker or stay here. So who would bank stay here? Well, Gigi, you? He's going to Baker too. Huh? Are you going to uh, Baker? Bank slalom? Are yeah, you going to stay here? Yeah. Baker would be nice because Billy is probably gonna go there. Yeah, we can hook you up with Eric too. Yeah. That'd be nice to see Eric. Yeah. We missed him in Europe. <coughs> all this is exclusive. Stole the race is built. eBay. Ching ching! <laughs> you still here? Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> You guys are funny. I, yeah, I mean, I thought you guys are, are gonna stay here. That's what I thought. Yeah. These guys are totally. Let's go. Let's go. So we're gonna follow you guys tomorrow. 
Okay. I mean, I'll, I'm so looking forward to one with It was just that feeling of, man, got to get out of Utah and literally got in my truck and drove to Jackson. Drive all night, sketchy-ass drive, solo, rolling in the morning to see everybody and packing up, ready to leave. Somehow, overnight, the plan from, yeah, we're going to shoot, turned into everyone's leaving. Showing up in Jackson and having that right away was just like, no way. Can't believe how things are going right now. This is insane. I don't know if we should call the movie Ready anymore because I'm so sick of words right now. I think it's all coming down to actions. So we can say we're ready for days, but unless we're doing this, it's just a bunch of bullshit, you know? And that's where I think we're left with when we're driving to Baker right now. I mean, what would you do if you were us? Drive 17 hours on icy, wintry conditions, or drive four hours to take a flight and rent a car? Crazy spark. How about just taking a shortcut, drive back to Salt Lake? This is just coming from me who drove last night to Jackson just to be there for 12 hours. She started realizing, fuck, this trip's gonna be endless, you know? Driving through the ass, we're like, what? 17 hours with the trailer, it's probably gonna take 24 hours. If you're driving 24 hours, I mean, we're there tomorrow night. Dude, let's go to Salt Lake. <coughs> Turn off down south to Salt Lake. Here we are. Dude, no more <laughs> driving right now. A 24-hour mission from Salt Lake to Jackson and back to Salt Lake. Next morning, flew to Seattle. 